Entropy is a measure of the molecular disorder of a system, and disorder can be measured on the molecular order in two ways, configurational and thermal entropy. Configurational entropy represents the physical arrangements of atoms. Physical arrangement can be modeled by molecules inside of boxes. Suppose we had two boxes and two molecules, and we can distinguish between each molecule. In order to characterize entropy, we have to distinguish between microstates and macrostates. Microstates will distinguish which molecules are in each box, while macrostates will measure the quantity of molecules in a given box. Thus, these four scenarios would be our microstates. They are grouped in pairs by which macrostate they are. Now, what if we raise the number of molecules from 2 to 4? Now we get an even larger number of microstates and macrostates. As you can see, there is a majority of microstates that fall under this particular macrostate. We thus apply the principle of equal a priori probabilities, which states that all microstates in a given energy level are equally probable. That suggests that this particular macrostate is the most probable. In addition, we can note that at this state, the system most closely resembles a system at equilibrium. As the number of molecules increase, the number of plausible states that exist at the equilibrium macrostate dramatically increases. If we were to graph a distribution curve of the number of microstates that contain a particular number of molecules in box A, which is another way to describe this particular macrostate, we would see a sharp increase in the number of microstates present at the equilibrium macrostate. The number of microstates at the equilibrium macrostate dominates the remaining number of microstates. So when we say that a system will tend towards equilibrium, it is due to the fact that the system has an outrageous number of plausible states that exist at and around equilibrium. It is statistically unheard of a system doing anything but that. This explains why differences in concentration within a system will tend toward equilibrium.